In maths, we have four basic rules. They are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you don't get these four rules, you may not be able to perform lots of operations in mathematics. Welcome back to maths class today. And today, I am so excited because you will be learning something fantastic. So what do we have to learn in maths today? We have to learn index form. Have you ever, ever heard of index form before? So now, let's roll. Index is the power which is raised to a number. For example, in this number, 2 raised to power 4. 4 is the index in this number. So if you also have 3 raised to power 2, 2 is the index of this number. Now, the plural of index is called indices. And today, we'll be learning how to write series of numbers in index form. So I hope you are excited. Now let's continue. So what's going to be the first example I'm going to give you? I'm going to ask you to write in index form. But before then, what do we call these numbers? Now, when you're being given index form, these numbers are called the base. They are called the base. So this is the base and the power is called the index. This is called the index. So when numbers are written like this, we call them index. We call them indices. We say that they have been written in index form. So now, first thing we're going to do here, write 2 times 2 times 2 in index form. Write 2 times 2 times 2 in index form. So 2 times 2 times 2 in index form will be written as 2 raised to power 3 because 2 is multiplying itself by 3. Now, if you also have 4 times 4, to be written in index form, it will be written as 4 raised to power 2, which means 4 is multiplying by itself 2 times, or 4 is multiplying in 2 different places. Good. Now let's continue. If you also have to write this in index form, that is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. What will this give in index form? The base is 5 and the index will be 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 5 raised to power 4. Let's have another example. If you have 6 times 6, write this in index form. It will be 6 raised to power 2. You can also have another example. What if I have a times a times a times a times a? How do we write this in index form? The base is a. And in what index? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is a raised to power 5. I want you to take note that my index is written up on the right hand side beside the base but up on the right hand of the base don't write your index like this not 62 not 54 okay but 5 raised to power 4 and 6 raised to power 2 so this is a raised to power 5 now another example on writing in index form what if we have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 how will it be written in index form that's 1 2 3 4 and that is 7 raised to power 4 now this is how to write numbers in index form now i'll be giving you numbers in index form R write them in an expanded form so how do we do that if you have 4 raised to power 3, write it in an expanded form. You would have 
4 times 4 times 4. Good. If you have y raised to power 2, you know this is y, the base, you would have y times y. If you have 6 raised to power 7, you'll be having 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. Is it up to 7? Not yet. Then times 6. That's writing it in expanded form. Now, if you also have z raised to power 5, you would have z times z times z times z and times z. Good. So this is how to write numbers in index form in an expanded form. Now, let me give you more examples on writing more numbers in index form. So for example, if you have m times m times m times b times b, how would you write this in index form? So that will be m raised to power 3 times b raised to power 2. And that's all because m and b are not like terms. Now, if you also have 4 times 4 times 3 times 3 times 3. How will it be written in index form? That will be 4 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 3. So at this point, I have been able to show you how to write in index form and how you can also change the index form writing it in expanded form. I hope you've learned something tangible today. I'll see you in the next class.